Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, let's start with the case uh, for today. So the case for today is that a 35-year-old male presents with itching that started in the groin area and had spread to the underarm, leg and eventually the full body within two months. A uh, patient is also complaining of papules all over his body for two weeks now. What is the characteristic of itching? It is that itching is continuous but more at night or when the patient becomes warm. Like when he, wa when he wears a blanket or when he wears a jacket. Um, then uh, for the papules, what is the characteristic of the papules is that the papules were red initially and then they turned into blackish spots as the time passed. So what do you think this might be? Can you diagnose the case? If not, watch the video completely to diagnose the case for yourself. Uh, so the first word uh, that we need to know is the word infestation. Uh, infestation, it basically means that a large number of animal or insect, they are present in an area where they will not, not be normally present. Uh, so they will infest that area in a large number and will cause damage or disease to that part. So what is the causative organism for scabies? Uh, it is Sarcoptis cabi hominis. So now what is scabies? Scabies is the most common parasitic skin infestation that is caused by Sarcoptis cabi. Let's discuss the symptoms for scabies. It includes intense pruritus or uh, we can say as intense itching. You can differentiate the type of itching in scabies from other type. You can differentiate it on the basis of these points. That is, it can happen at night or it can happen after hot showers. Like when a person becomes warm, like when he puts on a blanket or when he wears a warm jacket, etc. Uh, now, scabies have some common sites. For example, it can happen between the fingers, uh, on the buttocks, on genitalia, armpits, knees. And in later stages, it can happen all over the body. Signs for scabies include a pimple-like rash, uh, which have linear tract appearance. Uh, for example, when a person puts beads in a thread, it gives it a linear tract appearance. It can be of any shape, but you can see a line uh, in which these uh, beads are going. Now, most important part for any disease is knowing its pathology. So, the pathology for scabies is that the female might see proteolytic enzymes in the skin that break down the skin protein and make a way easier for the mite to enter into the skin. Now, once the uh, sarcoptes kebai it uh, enters into the skin, it burrows a canal under the upper layer of the skin where it lives and lays eggs. That is how it causes its characteristic itching. Now, to diagnose scabies. We have four different options. First is a uh, clinical option, which is one of the most common and is enough for most of the time. Second is dermoscopy, in which we uh, do the microscopic identification of the organism uh, from the skin scrappings. Third is the adhesive tape test, which is also like the dermoscopy. We do the adhesive tape test and then uh, observe it under the microscope. Then fourth, uh, for the very difficult case, we go for skin biopsy. To treat scabies, the most effective is permethrin, which we apply below the neck at night and then take a bath in the morning and change our clothing and our surroundings. Then second is melathion. Apart from this, we can give ivermectin. But a second course of treatment is of, often required for this cause of some developing larva that may survive the initial treatment. For pruritus, we can also give oral antihistamines such as uh, hydroxine, hydrochloride, diphenhydramine hydrochloride or cryptoheptadine. But to make the treatment successful, usually these treatments are enough. But 
in a lot of cases failures do occur and the cause for which is improper application of the medication or inadequate application uh, it can occur as reinfestation so that is why it is important to treat your whole family members